These are my top two luxury neighborhoods in San Ramon, California. What's up everybody? If this is your first time at my channel, I am Cooper with Keller Williams. I'm a full-time real estate agent servicing the Tri-Valley and San Ramon Valley. Those cities consist of Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, Danville, and Alamo. So if you're considering a move here or you're looking to sell a home, please contact me. I'm your guy. I'm the person to go to. Call, text, or email me anytime. If there's ever anything in the world I can do for you, I would be glad to help. Now number one on my list is Norris Canyon Estates. Now Norris Canyon is located off of Norris Canyon Road, of course, a couple miles up from Bollinger Canyon Road. Now the homes in Norris Canyon Estates range from 4,000 to 6,000 square feet of living space and the lot sizes are in the 12,000 to 16,000-ish square foot range. Now Norris Canyon Estates is a gated community so privacy is very important. So only residents and the guests of residents will have access of course. Now when it comes to pricing in Norris Canyon, you can typically expect homes in the high two millions to 4 million range. Now one of the benefits and cool characteristics of Norris Canyon that I really like is most of the homes on the eastern part of the community are built at the edge of a hill giving absolutely breathtaking views. So if you have any chance of looking at some of the homes that have previously sold in Norris Canyon that are on the eastern side of the community, go check it out for yourself because they are truly amazing. The biggest downside to Norris Canyon and something that I don't personally like is the community is a little hilly. So some of the lots are not fully usable. For example, I remember a house from last year in Norris Canyon that was pretty big. I think it was about 5,500 square feet and the lot size was around 15,000 square feet, but it was located on a hill which made a lot of the lot unusable. Good thing is that it is a little larger of a community that has a pretty decent turnover as far as resales go. So if you don't like the hilly aspect, you can wait it out and find something that's on generally a flat lot. Now second on my list is the Bridges community and not all of the homes in Bridges are the more expensive three to four million dollar range. Some of the homes here are in that 1700 square foot range in that 1.5 to 1.8 million dollar range. But we're here to talk about the more expensive homes, so let's get into that. Now the more expensive homes in Bridges are typically in the 4,000 to 6,000 square foot range and the lot sizes for these homes range from 8,000 to around 15 to 16,000 square feet. So the Bridges community is built around the Bridges golf course so some of these homes do have golf course views if that's something you're looking for. One thing I have taken notice to that I really like about Bridges is the exterior finishes of the homes. They gave a great variety of exterior finishes giving the community a lot of character and that's something I really like. Now the Bridges community is located a couple miles up Bollinger Canyon Road from the 680 freeway and pricing in Bridges range from around 1.7 for the smaller homes that I discussed earlier and for the larger homes, you're somewhere in the high two millions to around the $4 million mark. Now different from Norris Canyon Estates, the Bridges community is all pretty flat. So you don't have a bunch of hills, which means most of the homes and lots are flat as well, making them pretty usable. Although some of the lot sizes and backyard spaces can feel a little small for the amount of home you can buy in Bridges, but everyone's needs and wants are highly different. And in my experience, they are still big enough to host family gatherings or parties and still be able to enjoy them freely without feeling super crammed. Now, when it comes to HOA dues, both communities do have HOA. Norris Canyon Estates are $214 a month and the Bridges community is $40 a month. Now the HOA dues for the Bridges community covers the community pool, the park and common area maintenance, the picnic areas and tennis courts, and the HOA dues for Norris Canyon Estates covers the security gate, tennis courts, and park and common area maintenance. Now if I had to choose a favorite between the two communities, I would definitely choose Bridges purely because of its location. It's mostly flat and really centrally located to everything San Ramon has to offer. Now Norris Canyon Estates isn't located really far from anything in San Ramon, it's just located on the outer edge of San Ramon, which a lot of people prefer for its privacy, but me personally, if you ask me, 
I like to be more in the mix of everything that's going on and Bridges is more centrally located, so that's why I pick Bridges. I hope you found this helpful. If you need anything from me whatsoever when it comes to buying and or selling residential real estate in the Tri-Valley or San Ramon Valley, I'm your guy. I'm the person to talk to if you have any questions whatsoever about the area because you're new to it and you don't know much about it, please reach out to me. Call, text, or email me directly is always best. I always get back to you within 15 minutes. Thank you so much for watching.